Good morning, Cyber Warriors. So, we've covered a few things in previous videos to include writing your own scripts and being able to use them in a portable fashion. But what if you get onto a new system with a script you do know works, but you can't execute it? Uh, for example, we want to run the where local user script is that we've had in the past. It works just fine on our previous system, right? So, where local user. Bam! We get stymied. So, this is the default execution policy process, right? So, this is how systems are built from the ground up. Microsoft doesn't want PowerShell scripts to be run on systems just willy-nilly. You need to tell the system to actually start running and using those scripts. So there's a simple command to fix this particular problem, which you're going to have to know and have for working with scripts in the future. And it is set execution policy and dash E will bring up the execution policy portion and we want remote signed is the different option. It's simple, it's easy. You run it, it asks, are you sure? We're, we're pretty sure. So we're gonna tell it yes. And now we go up and we've got our command. It works, it works just fine. And actually, that's not the right one. I wanted that one, where it asked us for the username. But that's okay. But the important part is the command set execution policy for remote signed. That will allow you to run all of your scripts on the system. Um, so that's an important piece that we didn't cover in a previous video. That's all I have for this one, just to get you up and running. And I hope to see you in the next video.